Okay, so tell me, uh, po, uh, anong papel mong dumating dito sa Canada? Yo din po, ma'am. Uh, tapos, uh, tapos ko na po yung one year. Tapos Student. Ganyan, medyo, Hello, pa, ano ka ba? Uh, bisaya po, ma'am, pero okay. yung asawa ko, Ilocana. Okay, 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 okay. That's uh, fine. Your accent is like Ilocano, kaya I was thinking you're Ilocano. Okay. Anyway, so estudyante kang dumating sa Canada, na, natapos mo yung one year. Anong klaseng, yes, ma'am? Anong klaseng course? Uh, automotive, ma'am. Automotive, okay. Yes, ma'am. So natapos mo yon. So yung school, nagbigay ba ng PGWP? Ah, uh, nagbibigay po, ma'am. Okay, so kaya ka nagka-open permit? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so... Ah, no, a student permit. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so nagkaroon ka ng open permit, uh, postgraduate work permit, tama? Ay, ang ano ko ma'am, uh, two years kasi yung course ko, tapos si eh, ngayon... Oh, two tapos, years? Na, Hold on. Oh, okay. yes ma'am, two years yung course ko, tapos ngayon, ta natapos ko yung one year, ngayon... Gusto ko sana mag-stop na ng... Okay, gotcha. I understand. So, ayaw mo yeah. nang ituloy yung inyong ano, yes, yung naka-one year lang kayo. So, right now, are you still studying o wala na? Right now, uh, break ko ngayon. So, ngayon this uh, January coming, uh, start ng second year. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, second year. Nandito ba asawa mo? Yes, ma'am. Dito pati mga anak. Dalawa. May anak kayo? Ilan ang anak nyo dito? Dalawa po, ma'am. Two, okay. So, yung sa Pilipinas, anong course mo sa Pilipinas or anong profession mo sa Pilipinas? Uh, automotive technician din po, ma'am. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. So, ngayon, um, saan ka nag-work right now? Uh, sa una, nag-work ako sa laundry. Tapos yung pa... Minsan pa step step ang work. Ngayon, oh, lumipat okay. ako sa ano, kakas job minsan. Okay. Kasi student lang. Ngayon, cast job muna ako ngayon. <laughs> cast job ka muna ngayon. Si Asawa, yes, anong course niya? Ay, anong uh, profession niya right now dito sa Canada? Anong ginagawa? So ngayon mo, nagahanap pa rin sa sikay. Kakakarating din nila, lang din nila last 3 months. Okay, so hmm. nagahanap pa lang ng work. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so hang kailan matatapos yung inyong uh, status? Ne next year, November... Uh, Yeah, November. November 2024? 24, yes ma. Okay. Alright, so naka one year ka, naka vacation ka, which is okay na nag-40 hours a week ka, tama? Yes so, ma. So, um, anong school yun? Ano, uh, Niagara College. Hmm, I heard a lot of people in there. Ang dami ninyo. Yeah. Okay, Niagara College, okay. Okay, so... Yung asawa mo, kararating 3 months ago, so I believe yung kanyang status hanggang November 2024 din, tama? Yes ma'am, okay. yes ma'am. Uh, yung mga anak mo, uh, anong, anong papel nila? Estudyante or tourist? St student ma'am. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Nung nag-apply ka ba ng estudyante sa mga anak mo, may, may kumuha ka ba ng, uh, ano, ng uh, school um, acceptance from the York region? I mean from, from uh, public school? Hindi. Mayroon ma'am, mayroon. Ito kumuha ka? Opo, meron. Okay. Nung kumuha ka, online ba or in person? Online, online. Okay, online. Tapos pinakita mo yung work permit mo, ano? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so I know naka-break. Sa, sa ngayon ang nandito na po, o yung sa bago pa lang pa... No, nung bago pa punta pa dito sa Canada. Ah, yeah, online. Ah, so online ka kumuha ng kanilang school acceptance sa, yes, ano, sa public school, tama? Yes, ma'am. Ah, gano'ng katagal bago nila binigay yun? Ah, hindi ko na ano kasi yung misis ko ang nag-online uh, noon. Hindi ko na matandaan kung siguro one month din. One month, okay. Okay, okay. So, since you are working, I believe you... Uh, right now, nakabreak ka sa work or nakabreak ka sa studies? I mean, right now, nasa car ka eh. Ah. Uh, nasa car ka sa... Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> nakabreak ka sa... Hindi, mama, out na ako sa uh, work na yun. Pero ah, okay. sa school, nakabreak ako ng 4 months. Okay, so you're driving already. Nakuha mo na yung G2 license mo, correct? Yes, ma'am. See? Yes, ma you're actually, um, you're actually uh, slowly um, um, uh, getting into the reality of being a Canadian um, a resident here in Canada. So, um, I would suggest To be honest with you, um, kasi pag automat uh, automotive, did you ever try to apply from being a, uh, uh, itong automotive? Kasi yun yung experience mo from the Philippines eh. Did you ever try to apply from companies na nag-offer ng ganitong position? No? 
Sa so, ngayon wala pa. Ah, hindi ka pa nag-try na pero, mag-apply? Uh, hindi pa, pero naghahanap. Sa so, ngayon siguro maghahanap. Maghahanap ka, yeah. So, mm. I think it is good because this is a skilled work. What you can do, pagka halimbawa, um, nakakuha ka ng experience mo regardless kung tinapos mo yung studies mo or hindi. Kasi I just wanna inform you, unfortunately, na being a student, matapos mo man yung studies mo o hindi, presently, the law is walang pathway for permanent residency. Okay? Unfortunately, yan yung situation. They allow, uh, immigration allowed everyone na pumunta dito na gumasto ng katakot-takot na thousand of dollars I believe yeah. um, and then um, pagpunta dito aywan ko kung saan, sinong nag-process ng inyong papel they should have informed you this they should have uh, tell you na uh, ito yes pupunta ka dito as interna international student pero walang pathway for permanent residency kaya ka nandito sa akin ngayon nasa harap kita ngayon kasi I believe that you were actually um, um, uh, neglected by your or whoever help you sa totoo lang kasi ako as an immigration consultant that's what I always do to everyone um, I inform them na wala talagang pathway and then of course ang dami dyan na nagsasabi na ano na um, uh, they're, uh, they're telling me na um, eto y so what I suggest is to find a um, um, uh, an employer na pwede makakuha ako ng uh, employer ma'am hindi pa rin siya masama sa kasi nagpumunta ka dito ng international student eh. Pero pag nakakuha ka ng employer where you can apply for permanent residency, what, uh, maisasama mo siya na applic uh, applicant din ng permanent residency together with your whole family. That's okay. Um, but the only thing I'm talking is that you, you, come, you came to Canada as international student. Once you, uh, you st start studying, Yes, you and your uh, spouse, pwede silang mag-aral. Mag ah, pwede silang mag, uh, mag magtrabaho. Ikaw at saka siya. Now, once you stop, within, um, actually, mayroon, pwede ka namang mag-leave eh. Mag-ask ka lang for leave dito sa, sa, ano, sa school. Pwede ka mag-leave. And you can tell them na kung pwede na, um, usually ang leave is ano, um, uh, 150 days lang. Okay? 150 days. Yeah, 150 days lang. So ngayon, what you can do is to, um, you know, pwede kang mag-leave and then pagka naging okay na, uh, try to find an employer na pwedeng mag-offer sa'yo ng LMA sa automotive and then pwede kang mag-apply ng express entry or Canada Experience Class uh, permanent residency with your family. Okay? Pero pag sumobra na yung um, 150 days na nag-break kasi pagiging estudyante mo, Um, you have to ask yourself and your spouse na mag-stop ng magpa-declare sa trabaho kasi hindi na yun nakakwalify dun sa uh, condition ng pagiging estudyante. So be very careful of that, okay? Um, and then, um, I know this is a lot and I think you're not, uh, you don't have a pen to take down these notes. What we can do is that if you are not on your car or nasa computer ka na or nasa phone, what you can do is to email me yung mga hindi mo nas natanong sa akin, then I will send you by email para ma mapag-ano mo, mapag mo kung ano yung mga dapat na sinabi ko. Medyo madami yung sinasabi ko eh. So, um, it's not easy to grasp all this information, but um, for, for you, You can apply for Canada Experience Class but kailangan mo ng employer to give you an LMIA or job offer. And then that is a pathway for permanent residency sa inyo. Now, in their, in, sa pagiging estudyante mo, nag-aral ka ng one year, pwede kang mag-ask for a break, maybe sabihin mo na wala kang budget or there's another reason, they will gonna allow you to stay uh, as a student pa rin maintain your status for 150 days. And that time, pwede, pwede pa rin magpa-declare yung asawa mo at ikaw pwede ka rin magpa-declare ng work. Okay? Ngayon, pag nakahanap yung asawa mo ng LMIA, pwede rin yung i-change from being an open permit under you as a student, um, pwede siyang magpa-LMIA sa employer. Then, when your your wife finishes up her one year as a nanny or as a caregiver, kasi may pathway for permanent residency yun, then you can apply all together, you and your children, uh, for an, uh, a permanent residency. So, pwede. May mga option naman. Um, okay. I know we are lacking of time, November 2024. Uh, yeah. LMI itself will gonna take time. Okay, so, yeah. but there's a way for you guys to maintain your status. Kausap nyo na ako, okay?